says it's recording. All right, so let's give this a shot. There's a little red light blinking at me, which means we're either recording or Skynet is becoming self-aware. Or both. I'm going or both. both. Maybe yeah. this video leads to Skynet becoming self-aware, in which case, John Connor, terribly sorry. Um, our bad. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Oops. <laughs> Um, and during a 19-day production, most things like logic uh, and stuff like that sort of were left by the wayside because we had a whole fucking feature film to shoot. Um, everything was in a hurry and stuff like that, so we didn't get to talk to every single person we wanted to. And one of those people is here with me tonight, and I hope the internet here, is doing right the screen. He's right there. I'm right it's here. Sean Line, um, who plays a very, very really? important lean it, line. Lean. Lee, it's pronounced Frankenstein, is how I probably call it. Probably <laughs> uh, um, Here we go. Um, who has a very important contribution to Kill Giggles, uh, a very important character by the name of Thrillum Willem. Thrillum Willem meets his, his, he shuffles loose this mortal coil and floppy fucking feet in a mall. Uh, which is actually mall. the Eden Mall in Eden, North Carolina. Not just Carolina. any mall. Yeah. We've known each other for a hot minute. Do you remember how it started? I do. Um, Cause we've got, because you're Willem and I'm Blue. You're and Blue. People, people right. are going to look at us and be like, what? Okay, and so like, Blue's easy. Color. You still got the blue eyes. You got, you got those magical blue eyes. You still got those. <laughs> a little bit of red, white, um, blue right now. Mary. But at the time, your hair was blue too. Yes. Stood out. Now, this was 01. 2001. It's going on 20 years, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we met. Uh, we met at some event. I don't know how Carolina it went. Carolina theater, because didn't we lock eyes yes. across the room? It was like that slow mo, like crane shot up from one level to the next. <laughs> there, there was there was a little magic moment. There was. <laughs> it seemed like it. Yeah, unless I'm we just had, making that up now. Yeah, we, we had a moment. We had a moment. We did. Uh, <laughs> again, back to the how it all about started. We had a moment. Um, all the little Easter eggs in this conversation that'll lead up to how we got to uh, to kill Giggle, right? But eventually, yeah. you and I just connected over our mutual love of Kevin Smith. I was a Kevin Smith collector. Pretty much everything I had had a signature on it at some point. My ex-wife made a joke, like if he signed his underwear and sold it, you'd buy it. I'm like, eh, maybe. So at I'm some point when we were talking, you were telling me about your your fear of clowns. And I said, I got a movie you got to see. Because it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't Kevin Smith. It wasn't part of this universe. Um, but it was one of his guys made a movie called Vulgar. And it was... <laughs> I'm like, maybe you'll appreciate this. I'm like, yes, it's a clown. What the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> but it's a clown that gets gang raped by a bunch of rednecks. Yay. Like, you got to take some pleasure in that, don't you? I mean, a little... I mean, I, 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 it's, it's, it's a gray <laughs> or a murky brown area. I don't know, dude. <laughs> All puns intended. Um, I figured if there's going to be a movie with clowns that you might appreciate, maybe it'd be this one. So I lent you the DVD, which also happened to be signed by the director. Signed DVD. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what'd you do with that? <laughs> well, uh, it was stolen by terrorists which is inevitably what uh led uh to the political state of the world as it is now i can only imagine um that's what i like to tell myself at night uh in reality uh however <laughs> lent it to a friend i'm like you gotta check some like a hey, clown blah blah i gotta watch it cool uh i lent it to him and i'm like uh can i get the movie back Crickets. I don't know, but at some point I left North Carolina, but I'm like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm moving. Can I, can I get my movie back? <laughs> and I think that's when you finally let it go, like, oh, I don't know. That was my way to make it up to you, was to make you a clown who dies in a mall. We can't actually say how you die, because that would be giving it away. Needless to say, I feel that security officer LaFours would be most impressed with our homage. <laughs> so what, what was it like to be on set, sir? In case the rest of the story didn't give it away, I'm no actor. Well, I'm a, I'm a computer geek, artist, singer. I do a lot of things, but I'm no actor. So for me, being on set, I mean, 
it was nuts. I've done some video shoots. I've done some like random other things, but I was impressed. I don't think I ever told you, like it really impressed the shit out of me when I walked on set and saw all the people and all the equipment and everything and everything running. I was just like, this is real. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Cause in my head, it's always just been, I'm going to go be in blues movie. Yeah. I'm going to fly out there. We're going to hang out. I'm going to do some shit and you know, but I never really imagined what it'd be like to be on set. So the first time I heard like talent walking to set, I was like, oh, me. Oh, okay. You're like, oh, who's here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, there's someone with talent? <laughs> <laughs> and that was, all, that was our second day of filming, too. That was day number two. Oh. My dear friend, thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for being a part of Kill Giggles. Thank you for not telling me to fuck off all those many, many moons ago because I would have. Um, thank you for not getting thank mad about the DVD. Yeah, I mean, it's just, but like, and, and your, your, death, your death scene and movie maniacs and film fanatics, when you can see Sean die, you will truly appreciate anyone that has those sort of mall rat inclinations will truly appreciate. Uh, the sock full of sentiment that went into the death of um, our, our good, our good friend. Was that too much? I went through a tunnel, so they maybe didn't hear that part. Um, but, it's, uh, it, it, but yeah, it, just to be able to have you on there. I know things were crazy on set, and I didn't get to spend the time with you that I wanted to. But we had this time tonight. That was to fucking you, great. Your and death was very important to me. Oh. <laughs> Of the middle you ages. really think you're going to edit this down to like you know five, seven, maybe ten minutes? You think that's I was hoping to come in under the ten minute mark, but I. Do you think we're going to get under a uh, recording in under a half hour? Like, well, I, mean, I, to, I think I think Zoom shuts us off at like forty minutes anyway. So um, <laughs> I think good. We have to, we have to so like for the love of fuck, right. nobody wants to see this. <laughs>